All right, this is one of the developing stories that we've been bringing to you throughout uh, the late afternoon and evening. The much anticipated provincial elective conference of the ANC in the Free State has been delayed. And earlier, rubber bullets were used. Uh, there were claims that a woman had been assaulted in a standoff amongst ANC uh, deployees, or they said they were deployees, and a police. Now, the registration process for this conference was disrupted by a group of people who said that they now names were not on the delegation lists, even though they had been chosen by their branches. We are joined by the ANC National Executive Committee member, David Machlobo. He's a, uh, he was sent to the Free State as part of an NEC delegation, given the tensions that we've seen in the Free State of late. Uh, Mr. Machlobo, any sort of uh, registration going on right now, and it sounds very serious that rubber bullets were, were used What's the situation on the ground? We, we, thank you very much, Francis, and to all your viewers right now. We, there was an incident earlier on where there was a disruption of the registration process uh, because of certain individuals that were, that, 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 that were hell-bent to disrupt the conference. And... Um, can I proceed, Francis? Yes, yes, please. We can hear you clearly. Okay. And then what has happened now, we met at the ANC a conference proprietary committee that I was sharing with the leadership of the province, with the ANC members. We look at the situation. Ultimately, we made a decision that the registration process will proceed. As I'm talking to you right now, one region of the ANC has finalized its registration. The other region is currently being registered. The processes are moving smoothly. There are comrades that had complained on the basis that delegates have been changed. You find that there are two different uh, delegation sets in one branch. The ANC leadership of the province, working with the ANC deployees, uh, Comrade uh, Dina Pule, Big Kekane, and Zandile Masina, supported with our people in organizing from head office. They cleared all the issues last night, and the regional secretaries were very happy. But there are those that are not happy with the verdict of what has happened, and the ANC we have made a provision that Comrade Mpituzu Manana and Domusen Kabani. They are attending to those ones who are actually electing to further appeal, and that process is going very smoothly. We know that there was an incident that was unfortunate, where certain comrades deliberately decided to go and block the highway, and they went to the next conference. That is breaking the law, because the ANC leadership is attending to issues, and uh, we are still committed to do that. But our view, the conference is going to proceed. And those that uh, still feel aggrieved will hear them so that we allow them space within the ANC. But what we cannot tolerate is issues of hooliganism, deliberate attempts where it is unsafe to be in an ANC meeting like it happens in other provinces. But at this stage, we are, we are moving very fast. And at a particular point, we should be able to convene the conference in terms of the open session where our national chairperson, Comrade Mantashe, is here and it's going to open the conference and then we get the report and then at a later point we'll be able to decide how far we reclaim the lost time. All right, so, so the people that we saw on the street, some of them spoke to us uh, very upset, saying that they were delegates in the past to the national conference, now they're not on the list. So you, as the ANC, are engaging with all of them. They're, they're no longer on the streets. There are cordial discussions underway. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that uh, there is a process that we've agreed. And comrades have genuinely concerned. They are going through the processes I've, I've outlined right now. But we know that in the province of Free State, because of issues of internal democracy in the ANC, the temperatures are high and others are looking for confrontation. Ours is to say those who are there in the streets, they are not going to get their problems solved in the streets. The leadership is here. Individual members and individual branches, not groups, they need to come in, they will be listened to by the leadership as we are currently doing. And we are very helpful with the cooperation that we are receiving. But there are still those few comrades that uh, are still not coming to the party. 
and we will continue to facilitate to deal with those issues. It sounds like a very difficult issue when you have uh, parallel delegations. So you have one branch, it's divided, and then you have two groups saying that we are the legitimate um, delegates from our branch. You say that it was all sorted out yesterday. Um, clearly, there are still people who believe it hasn't been dealt with fairly. How do you sort out a mess like that? We, we have to understand that the ANC it has gone through a number of trials and tribulations. One of the biggest challenges we have is the level of divisions and the level of intolerance. In other provinces, people get assaulted. Sometimes people get killed. But what we have taken as a resolution is a new NEC under leadership of Comrade President from our and our instructed by the SG, Comrade Madula, is that we must do whatever is possible within the organizational script create a platform, listen to Congress, but decisions are going to be made. And it's natural that certain decisions, when they are made, they will favor you, other decisions, they will not favor you, and will react very differently. We don't have a problem for Congress reacting differently, but they still have to follow the processes and don't act within the ambit on how a member of the mm -hmm. ACE must, must act. But the process that we are giving now, that Congress is doing, Congress will say, are undertaking is a demonstration of our commitment to listen until to the final minute. How many branches are affected by these sorts of disputes? And, and are you really sure that, that this isn't a big enough problem to scupper the conference this weekend? Well, in terms of the branches, there were 59 of them. I, I got the report as a chair of the, of the team that is leading here. I was very satisfied that these matters were dealt thoroughly and the regional secretaries of the ANC from all regions were very happy. They even signed for those particular reports. But when there was a feedback that was given for those, uh, for those views that they are the legitimate uh, uh, delegates were actually dismissed, then there are those that were unhappy. But those numbers were not more than 10 branches. Currently, our team is handling them. I'm very satisfied. But we know that the temperatures in this province, like elsewhere in other provinces, there's been a mobilization. There's been issues of people that deliberately know that, you know what, we want to disrupt the conference. And we want to isolate those particular elements and focus on the task that is at hand. Because this province has a number of challenges. We need an ANC that is working. We need a structure so that they can address the social economic challenges of free state. Especially, remember yesterday, this province did well on metrics. They led well and we've congratulated them. They need to concentrate on the positive rather than on the mm. thing that divides us. But the leadership will never be arrogant, will be humble to listen to people, but will be firm, will never tolerate any rock elements and will never allow anarchy within the rest of our movement. Mr. Mkhlobo, some would say challenges are an understatement. There are huge service delivery issues in the free state, while seemingly these divisions cannot be dealt with uh, despite various efforts. Experts, some analysts say this is about, uh, in a nutshell, or in a simplistic way, people who are loyal to Ace Mahashule versus those who uh, prefer the renewal agenda in the ANC. Is that the general picture, the, the division around those two groups? There, is, there, are different, there are different views that we'll always have about the state of the ANC, if I expect. The resolution in our mandate was going to renew the organization, was going to unite the organization. But those of us who got elected in the last national conference were going to reach out to all the members of the ANC so that they can come into the ANC hall. Even the current IPC that is concluding its task right now is an IPC that came from different uh, streams, in other words, from different groupings within the province. We brought them together to try to work. They've tried their best, but their challenges remain. That's why you could see these challenges are reflected in how some of the members of the branches are behaving. That's why this high-level delegation was sent by the Secretary General Comrade Mbaruna on behalf of the NEC. We must support the province, but we must oversee that organizational processes are followed.
And many have noted that uh, despite a task team, a high level delegation being sent, nothing has changed. I mean, if this provincial conference doesn't go ahead, uh, would you say that the, the interventions are completely failing? This uh, provincial conference is not going to be an alpha and omega of the challenges of the ANC in the province. It's the beginning of a process of renewal, renewing the organization. To have a leadership in the province is a first step. And they will have the biggest responsibility to unite the organization, but get government to work. We are not any under illusion that an event like this one will actually solve all our problems as a panacea of our problems. That's not the case, but we need to go down. There's hard work. That's why we actually said we have a vision 20, uh, 2032 of really reclaiming the ANC and uniting this organization so that it can do its historical task of leading South Africans to what we promise of a better life for all. All right, thank you very much for your time. Uh, so that was ANC National Executive Committee member and head of the delegation that was sent uh, to the Free State because of the tensions there. He is adamant that this conference in the Free State will go ahead despite those disruptions earlier by members who say that they are not on the delegation list and they should be at the conference. They were chosen by their branches, but we know that in some of the branches there are two groups uh, saying that they are legitimate uh, employees.